Has this ever happened to you? It's a Friday, you just got paid, your friends call you up and let's go for a cruise, and this happens. Huh? All right, you guys, so hopefully we never ever get ourselves in that situation again where we get into that bind because we got one of these. And I got one more thing. I got one of these bad boys. And we're gonna install that in the Civic Type R today. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and do our first oil change. So it is kind of nice to have multiple cars to drive, but the thing is you're only one person and you can only drive one car at a time. And a lot of these cars are realistically sitting here and not doing anything. And that's the reason why the batteries die because you just don't get maintained. And that's why we're gonna create this vlog today. I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that problem, hopefully. The S2K is dead and I have to push that out of the way. But look at this bad boy in the background there. These are hard to get right now. We got two of them in the shop. Well, one was here, but now it's gone. We only have one left. Let me just uh, push the S2K out of the way and let's get started on this vlog here. Okay, let's just push this bad boy out of the way. How hard can this be? Watched a couple times on YouTube, so some flathead here, I think. Cool. What the hell? Okay, quarter turn. Let's put this here. So we got. You got four aluminum flatheads, not bad. And you got some Phillips. Do these sacks, suck your source. in there pretty good all right guys so that didn't really go according to plan if you look here let me see if i can zoom in here there it goes so obviously i stripped it but the thing is from the factory these are really 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 tight and when you put some pressure on it the whole under tray here flexes like back here wasn't a problem but this one was a problem here it is the more you put pressure, the more it, it flexes, and yeah, I only stripped it. <sighs> it didn't go according to the plan. Now I'm gonna have to extract that out and get a new bolt from Honda. But uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Oh. Oh. There we go. Good old extractor, there we go. No good, you guys. I'm gonna have to get a new one, but it is garbage. I don't, honestly, I don't know why they make it so tight. Let's uh, continue with our regular programming. All right. Here you go, first time. Okay, so the drain plug is right here. Okay, let's get this going. All right guys, so uh, we'll just let the oil drain. And uh, while we do that, we'll just uh, talk about the uh, C-Tech battery monitor hopefully you can see that it's upside down but, but let's uh, let's unbox this and then uh, let's see what's inside the box so we got some instruction manuals and a quick starter guide and uh, some tie straps and the actual battery monitor itself so it's pretty simple it connects straight to your positive and the negative on any battery that you have Pretty cool. Uh, so what it does is uh, tells you, or in real time, monitors the health of your battery, and it tells and it gives you alerts if your battery is running low in real time. So uh, you download the SeaTac app, 
on your phone and you can monitor your car 100% all the time. So it, and it alerts you if your battery is running low. So if it does, you can go ahead and plug it in, charge it up or start your car and uh, away you go. You never have that problem of battery dying ever again. So you never miss a car meet or a cruise with your buddies. And on top of that, if you want to go full out, you can get, you can get the anti-gravity ATX30. This battery, half the size, but it puts out way more cranking, uh, cold cranks than the actual factory battery. And uh, the reserve on it is, it says on the box, uh, 32 amp hours. Realistically, I think 16, but that's more than enough to run your car um, during the summertime, AC and everything with half the size. You could go with Group 51, I believe. A Group 51, way more amp hours. I believe that's 70. It's a little bit bigger than this one, but double the price. So we're gonna go with this one. It's half the price, half the weight. And uh, let's go ahead and yank that battery out. And then just go weigh these two and I'll go and install it and show you guys how that battery monitor works. Right back. All right, let's yank this baby out of here. Thank God they have a handle here. All right, so with the anti-gravity battery, you guys, you get the battery, of course, and then the, all the hardware to uh, connect the battery. The only one thing that's not included in the battery is the uh, terminals that you need to get them separately from anti-gravity. And uh, it'll come with the necessary hardware. Uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, let's, uh, let's put this battery together and then I'll go and weigh it for you guys. So we got to determine where to put these. I'm gonna pop this off because I think I'm just gonna mount it like this in the car. Uh, what, this side positive? We use this one because the positive's on this side, the negative's on that side, closer to the, the wall. Okay, just gonna move you guys up a little bit here. Okay, so we're gonna slide this in. And, well actually, you know, we don't need these because we're gonna put these terminals on. With a, I opted out for an Allen key because they give us two options, this an Allen key and a Torx. But I'm gonna go with an Allen key here. Without the monitor, you will just put the terminal with the number five Allen, just like that, and then torque it down. But if I'm gonna put the monitor, I'll put the respective terminals on each whatever it is, negative, negative, positive, positive. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh the uh, stock battery and the uh, anti-gravity battery to see how much it weighs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. So it's gonna go in zero out. Okay, so it is 24.9 pounds, 11.3 kilos. Hopefully you guys can see that there, uh, right over there. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and weigh the other battery. I went ahead and uh, put the terminals on and then I went to use some tie straps here because there's no handle on this battery. So I'm gonna hook it up. There you go. There we go. And it is 2.6 pounds, 1.2 kilos. That's like nothing, you guys. Not bad for a small little battery. All right, so this is the first time I've ever uh, installed a battery this small in this kind of a car. Normally you can get a tray and uh, all custom fitted in there, but uh, I'm gonna show off the anti-gravity uh, battery. And uh, I just didn't want to drill a couple of holes into my OEM battery tray here. So we're just gonna go with what we have here. Hopefully everything fits, you guys. Let's, uh, let's see, it's the first for everything. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. I got it all to uh, fit. I had to uh, just uh, adjust it a little bit. What I did was use uh, one of the spare holes just right next to the uh, battery uh, hook where it hooks into. I just used a different hole and uh, everything's nice and snug now. And it uh, looks pretty good. We saved a lot of weight. Now we got the battery monitor 
hooked up and I'm just gonna show you guys right now. All right, so I got everything all installed. Everything's all figured out. Oil change is done. I'm gonna go get one of those new bolts from Honda. But if you guys are doing it for the first time, I'm telling you, you guys are probably gonna struggle the same. I don't know why they just, I don't know why they just, it's so tight, you guys. Now the battery's in, monitor's actually working now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the app for you guys. Just gonna show you, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and click on CTEC. Battery pulls up right away. And we're gonna click on view detail. And it shows you the battery is at 100%. Amazing. And it's in real time. I can just track it at all times now. Relatively, really cheap. The, I'll put the link in the description. You can just uh, contact uh, Envision Auto Imports. It's uh, Christmas right around the corner. Uh, for battery wise, I would check out the battery restart. Uh, ATX30. It has enough cranking, more than the factory stock cranking amps. Uh, this one is rated for 800 and uh, where are we at now? 880 amps, and that's a lot, uh, more than enough to start the car. And with 32 amp hours, that's more than efficient to run. And we shaved off a lot of weight, almost, I believe almost more than 20 pounds. Bang for the buck. It is the best way to shave weight and save money, you guys. I guess that's pretty much it for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, Christmas is around the corner. Just go get one of these for your loved ones or just get it for yourself. Stock, fantastic stocking stuffer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, organize underneath, make the monitor look really nice under there. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.